On Monday, February 8th, Hiller Girls Hockey battled Dedham. The Marauders netted a pair of goals in the first period. Sent over to Crowley. Looking for a shot, Rister, and that's a goal. How about that, Maley Crowley from long distance. Sent over by Crowley. Here comes Dedham, Steck trying to charge in. Nice move there to the net, shot goal. Alexis Steck, the assistant captain, makes it two to nothing, Dedham. Despite good goaltending and defense by the Hopkinton co-op team, Dedham nets another goal in the second half and takes the game three to nothing. There's another one, and that ends up deflecting off of Madeline McLeish and into the net. Unbelievable. On Wednesday, February 10th, Hiller's boys basketball took on Holliston. In the JV game, Zach Hyman netted eight first quarter points, and the Hillers led 12 to nine after the first. Yes, zone championship, you could call it. They'll be competing against the best of the best from uh, the five or six teams that they compete against. Carson feeds it out to Hyman, up for three, and he knocks it down, Zach Hyman feeling it. In the second quarter, Wyatt Stevens struck for three field goals and helped the Hillers to a 28-22 lead heading into the halftime break. Up for three from up top, knocking it down, Wyatt Stevens. Speaking of... The Hillers outscored Holliston in the third quarter, 13-9, and led 41-31 heading into the final eight minutes. With the rebound along the corner. Here comes the Hillers off the turnover. Hicks takes it to the rack, up with the left hand and in. The Hillers offense continued to roll in the fourth quarter and they took the game 53 to 39. That was on Rowan Smith, that's his second. Now we have a steal. Driving in, Hyman up with the left hand, count it. Zach Hyman making it happen. Feeds it out to Keefe. Keefe gonna drive it in, kicks it out to Schnurr, up for three, count it. Swishes it through. In the first quarter of the varsity game, the Hillers outscored Holliston 12 to eight. I believe it is the second year for Coach Champagne as Casper drives in and finishes. It's his second field goal of the game. In the second quarter, Matt Cooper knocked down eight points for Hopkinton. In the 16 to nine quarter, Hillers led 28 to 17 at the half. And on the entry. And it's kept in bounds, but taken by Schnurr, and he goes up and in. In the third quarter, the Hillers had five different point scorers and rallied for a 21 to 16 quarter and took a 49 to 33 lead into the fourth. Point lead, but still plenty of time left to go. Merkin over to Spencer Merkin. And Keefe got a tip on that attempted pass. Tahi came up with it. Cooper. Gets it out to Keefe. Up for three. Count it. Swishes it through. The Hillers knocked down 10 free throws in the fourth quarter and took the game 62 to 54. The Alpine Ski Group Championship took place on Thursday, February 11th. Here's a look. Well, to pull uh, five tenths out of your time on that hill. Matthias Niff on the right. Very nice. Yep. Smoking. Tori Fisher on the left. Come on, Tori. 808, I think. Again, we can't see there the good numbers until they stand up at the bottom. And then we verify. All right. Nathan Foster on the right. I think our cookies got covered in snow. Yeah, well, I'll keep them cold. There's Nathan. Allie Berry on the left. Nice. There goes Allie. Hmm, the lift is stopped. That's not good. Yeah, no, that, that makes it hard to keep the race going. 
You got quite a backup here. Yeah. Andrew oh Hurley, he just came through on the right. The girls took second place and the boys took third place. Congratulations on a great alpine ski season by the Hillers. On Friday, February 12th, Hillers girls basketball took on Medway in the JV game. The Hillers took a 10-8 lead in the first quarter. Flanagan feeds it over to Davies. Around the perimeter they go, up for three. Dacey, and she knocks it down. In the second quarter, Elena Davies scored nine points in the 15-8 quarter to help the Hillers to a 25-16 halftime lead. Uh, between Hopkins and Medway, they should certainly be uh, pretty close games that go back and forth, as these two teams typically do. Knocking down a three is Elena Davies. The Hillers had several different point scorers in the third quarter. 11 point Hillers lead, 438 and counting left to go in the third quarter. Up for three and good is Emma Dacey. Her second three bucket of the game. Hopkinton would end up taking the JV game 46 to 36 over Medway. The Hillers driving in, up and in with the left hand goes Kelsey McCoy. In the varsity game on Friday, February 12th, Lauren Beach dropped nine second quarter points to help Medway to a 24 to 17 halftime lead. Over to the elbow to Regan. Now to Longville, now to the corner. Beach for three and she knocks it down. Lauren Beach with her first points of the game. In the third quarter, the Hillers had four different point scorers. Make that Maggie Hedstrom, excuse me. And a nice feed over to Caroline Connell, who goes up and in. The Medway offense was just too potent as Lauren Beach dropped 14 points for the Mustangs and Maggie Regan had 12 in the Medway, 46 to 36 win over the Hillers. On Saturday, February 13th, Hiller Co-op Girls Hockey battled Medway. Before the game, they celebrated senior night. Here's a look. It was a gritty defensive battle. Westwood netted a goal with 2.22 left in the first half.
There's a shot out in front and that's put in. With the initial shot, it was Hannah Blumquist and then Kendall Blumquist waiting right in front of the net, able to pop it in and make it one to nothing. The Hillers responded with just over 11 seconds left in the game. A nice send off the swing hammer. That's what's going. The goalie has been pulled to bring on the extra attacker. That shot just wide. Last opportunity here for Hopkins and Dover Sherboard. That's off the goalie. Out in front of the net. That's put in. It's a goal. Hopkins and Dover Sherboard. Wow. Sophia Mazza Kelly pops it in. Assist Merkel as Kelly Mer Kaylee Merkel was able to get it in front of the net. Holy and Sophia Mazzucchelli able to put that one in. Sophomore Sophia Mazzucchelli nets the game tying goal with a great assist from Kaylee Merkel and goaltender Kristen McCluskey records 55 saves as the Hillers and Westwood end the senior day battle in a one-to-one -one tie, a very impressive tie for the Hopkinton-Dover-Sherborne co-op girls hockey team.